Your this perp back with another video and I just got done checking out the very first episode of Yellow Jackets. This is a brand new show on Showtime. I guess you can call this like a horror slash drama slash mystery slash thriller. But before I get into this review, hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at perpminder 420 Make sure you hit that like button because I might, you know, review this week to week. That just depends on how things go. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right into this. So the opening scene we get is somebody falling into this hole and they're dead. I have my predictions on who that may be that's in that hole because they don't really show their face. But there's somebody like kind of looming over them in like what looks like to be fur and stuff like that. Then we jump into uh, some uh, present day where you have this reporter kind of, you know, asking around about these girls the yellow jackets these characters that we're going to get introduced to in the next scene and man this is very fascinating because they say that there's been this crash and anyways let's let's start with you know going back in time to uh 96 and this is where we kind of get introduced to all of our different characters you know jackie um natalie shauna and the list goes on. Misty, you know what I'm saying? I, I kind of like how they introduce these characters. This is a soccer team. And this is a a game that they must win to move on to Nationals. They end up winning it, going to Nationals. Then we get this, like, kind of, um, you know, thing going on with uh, just showing exactly where they're at. They're in New Jersey. Um, I don't know exactly where they're at in Jersey. I think this is like North Jersey because that doesn't look like Atlantic City or any shore that's near my way. It might be sea, uh, Seaside or something like that. But anyways, then we get introduced to our first character named Jackie. You know, she's pretty much getting finger banged by this dude named Jeff. Um, she's kind of like the leader of the Yellow Jackets. She's like the captain. Very popular. Everybody really likes her. And she knows how to pretty much, um, you know, control the room, so to speak. But everybody kind of pretty much respects her. And we also get introduced to Shauna, which definitely seems like Shauna kind of likes uh, Jackie. They kind of tease that. We get to see where she's at in the uh, in the future. Well, present day. And the reporter that we saw in the beginning of the episode approaches her and kind of rubs her the wrong way. And it doesn't seem like Shauna really wants to talk about this. And there seems to be a lot of mystery surrounding, you know, their plane crash and just the whole story. A lot of things aren't adding up. And it's going to kind of bring all these characters, I think, back together after like 25 years. So really interesting stuff. Then we get introduced to Natalie's character and who she was, um in present day and who she was back then she was kind of like this um she wasn't really into the popular crowd she was more of an outcast you know like to do drugs and uh, like you know hang out with these dudes and you know i think natalie's going to be a really interesting character and also throughout this whole entire episode scenes of like somebody getting roped up to a tree pretty much getting pulled up to it like hung up by a tree and getting their throat slashed and it's the same kind of people with the fur and stuff that you saw in the beginning of the episode and my thing is right off the bat i'm thinking that these these girls were cannibals when they were lost and stuff like that they were talking about how um they were lost for like i think 19 months or something like that they lost track of time and they didn't really know how to sur else to survive so i'm thinking that that's going to be the secret but i think there's more to the whole entire story but get introduced to another character named t i'm drawing a blank on her actual name i know it's right there but you know she is very successful but when she was a part of the team she was very you know strict she she was very disciplined and they didn't re she didn't really like this uh freshman chick that was on the team named ally and she wanted to kind of uh plan against her to kind of uh get her out of the picture but everybody wasn't really following through with that which led to an accident happening 
um, when they were doing tryouts and stuff like, or not tryouts, but warmups, um, the chick alleys, the whole bone just popped out of her leg. Oh my God. It's just, that was sick. And it just goes to show you, man, it's just these, these chicks is really like brutal to one another, but you can really tell that, you know, um, that they want to work as a team, but there's so much more secrets and stuff that they're not telling each other and a lot of things that they probably held in. And I'm, I'm so curious to see how this is all going to kind of come together by the end of the season. Going back now to present day where, you know, you have Shauna kind of just we don't know exactly what she's thinking, but it's interesting now that she has a, a daughter of her own that's obviously still in high school. Um, a lot of interesting things with that whole um that whole thing we'll get into that very shortly but she kind of sees herself and uh her daughter and stuff and you, you really see the disconnect because she really wants to have this um relationship with her daughter but her daughter wants to go out and she wants to do her own thing and you'll know why Shauna kind of wants her daughter to kind of just fall back and not be so social with everybody. Then we jump back into the past where Shauna and Jackie are getting ready to go to this party out in the woods. We get to the woods and, you know, there's a lot of tension. Shauna honest, obviously feels some type of way towards um, Jackie. I don't know if it's jealousy or she really just likes her. Maybe it's something else. I'll get to it where when we get to that scene. So Shauna confronts T about, you know, sabotaging things at, at warm ups and making uh, Allie get injured, you know, pushing her too far and pushing her too hard. And this leads Jackie to pretty much step in and, and be a leader and bring all these girls back together and because they're about to go to nationals the next day i think they're about to get on the plane uh in the morning and a lot of weird stuff is going on because as natalie is sitting there tripping on acid and stuff we get a flash back um or a flash forward i guess to when they were lost in the woods and i can't wait to get to that part of the story i want to see how that kind of unfold and um I'm, I'm calling it right now. I'm telling you that these girls were cannibals. They had to eat each other to survive because they said that they were uh, they were found, like I said. And at this really interesting scene of Shauna and Jeff and also Jackie, they're dropping off Jackie. And then Jeff and Shauna end up just pulling over somewhere on the way to Shauna's house and ended up, you know, having sex. And I'm wondering like, wow, she, she's been kind of going behind Jackie's back this whole time. And I'm wondering how that's all going to unfold. And that's going to be really interesting to see play out going forward. Going back to present day, we have Shauna in, uh, starting to look at her pictures and you saw the picture of Jeff. So she had a, a baby with Jeff. Um, which is interesting. She makes this phone call. You're thinking she's going to call that reporter because the reporter told her to call her. No, we'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll get there. We'll get there. So it's the morning of uh, them going onto the plane to head to Seattle. And everybody's kind of excited. You could definitely tell that a lot of these chicks are just nervous. You know what I'm saying? And then this is where things really start to pique my interest with this whole entire show going back we're keep going back and forth through time and stuff but shauna meets up with t and talks about you know this reporter keep keep popping up and stuff and talking about if the truth gets out we're all fucked so obviously they lied about something and Somebody is doing some type of digging and I feel like the reporter is not who she says she is because there's no records of her or any of her like credentials or anything like that. We also see what Misty's doing. She's kind of working at this old people's home, treating old people like shit. And then um, Natalie has this whole fucking sniper in the back uh, backseat of her whip 
of this whip probably um evidenced for something we have no idea like i said the plane crashes you know i, I really like how they intertwined um going from 1996 to you know 2021 i really kind of like that i really want to see where they take all these characters let me know your thoughts on this first episode a lot of uh intrigue with this first episode and very fascinating but i want to know your thoughts leave them in the comments below i will see y'all in the next video peace